The story begins with our main protagonist, called Tanaka Kun, laying under a tree. His best friend is pretty much his caretaker, called Uda. He asks what Tanaka's doing out here to which he bleakly says, The weather has a nice cool breeze today and the birds are chirping with their cute voices. I think the people of the modern generation are forgetting the wonders that nature offers. Don't you think it's a waste to not feel it with your entire body like this? Uda just stares at him. The following day, Uda has to carry Tanaka into class. One of their classmates, called Kado, thanks Uda for picking up Tanaka while placing him at his seat. A few moments later Tanaka wakes up confused how he's back at his desk, but quietly says thanks again Uda. Another one of their classmates, called Shimura, asks why he doesn't use his own two legs for once, but another guy says he can't help it, it's just Tanaka. At the end of class Uda pokes Tanaka on the arm and he shakes vigorously. It turns out when he sleeps with his head on the desk his arms fall asleep and he can't move them. In the next period Tanaka finishes his worksheet super fast so he can doze off, but complains that since he moved his desk people are blocking the breeze. Uda thought Tanaka could drift off anywhere, but today he can't relax for some reason. He wonders if it's because he's not in his usual place, and maybe the little differences seem bigger. The guilt of knowing how lazy he is begins getting to him as students in the other classes are studying hard. He wants to savor that feeling. A classmate asks Uda if he can copy his notes so he excuses himself. Meanwhile the students who are blocking the breeze move and Tanaka sees this as a golden opportunity to do some dozing. However he ends up falling off his chair. The next period is P, and Uda is surprised Tanaka's actually willing to participate. He says he wants to build his physical strength so his limbs won't fall asleep or get hurt, no matter how lazy he is. His goal is to work his body hard so that he can slack off worry-free. Uda thinks that's a tad contradictory but sees his point. Today they play badminton but start off with some basic stretches, but to no one's surprise Tanaka is already struggling. The teacher warns him not to take breaks during warm-up exercises. When it's time for badminton Tanaka and Uda face Kato and Shimura who are confident they will win, but one of them remarks how Uda's visually intimidating. On the first serve Tanaka goes to hit the shuttle back but ends up launching the bat at his classmates who scold him for it, so he takes a break. Two girls, called Kitchen and Shireshi, comment saying it looks like the boys are having fun. On the other hand Uda wins the badminton match even though it's one against two, and Tanaka wonders if Uda's performance will automatically count towards his grade since they're on the same team, even though he's been resting. Since Tanaka quote unquote worked so hard he's hungrier than usual. Uda says, you call that working hard. After getting their lunch they eat on the field where Uda says you shouldn't make a habit of resting your chin on your hand, as it can lead to joint disorders. Developing physical strength is fine but he should fix his bad habits first. Suddenly Tanaka begins bleeding out of his mouth and Uda becomes very worried. However he reveals that a piece of French bread stabbed the inside of his mouth. And after all he wasn't really hungry so Uda eats the rest for him. After school Tanaka articulates that instead of getting rid of numbness and pain, maybe coexisting with them is the true answer. Also that having an unwavering mind and the ability not to care is what's important, not physical strength. While passing a bookstore Tanaka sees something that catches his eye, in the story known as life, everyone can become a main character. However Tanaka says he doesn't even want to be the main character in his own life as it sounds exhausting. While walking in the park a boy goes up to Uda and asks him to get his ball that got stuck in a tree, and being the kind guy he is Uda gets it for him, gaining the attention of some girls passing by. Tanaka takes note of this. The next day at school, Uda notices Tanaka is double listless today. His classmate asks him to help carry some worksheets to the faculty room but he even needs Uda to help him with that. At lunch Tanaka doesn't seem to want anything to eat. Uda offers him some of his food as he's worried Tanaka's listlessness is worse from lack of appetite. In music class Tanaka plays the piano which surprises his classmates and Uda tells them he used to take lessons as a kid. After a beautiful choir song Tanaka rests on the piano, but when a girl goes to see if he's okay he makes a loud screech startling the whole class. Uda chats with Kato and Shimura regarding Tanaka's listlessness today. Shimura theorizes that his lack of appetite coupled with his absent-mindedness and inexplicable behavior, like that sudden screech, means love is the issue. Uda finds Tanaka alone in a classroom and offers to go get ice cream to make him feel better, however he declines, so Uda just drags him anyway making all his stuff fall out of his pocket. Uda notices he has about 15 different reminders telling him to go to the dentist. At this moment, Uda realizes the reason he's been double listless is because of a toothache, not love, so without hesitating he carries Tanaka to the dentist. After getting an anesthetic at the dentist, Uda asks if Tanaka is in love with anyone but he says no. Tanaka then promises himself he'll have teeth so healthy, they won't lose to cavity-causing bacteria. Uda sees how Tanaka will go to great lengths to be listless and that his passion for it is real. Tanaka ends up falling asleep on the bench and Uda carries him home. We then see a mysterious girl who'd been spying on them. 
The following day, Tanaka and Uda are approached by the girl who was spying on them yesterday. She begs Tanaka to make her his apprentice, much to their surprise as none of them know her. She introduces herself as Miyano and tells Tanaka she's his classmate. Miyano reveals she wants to become a mature woman by attaining Tanaka's level of listlessness, begging him to teach her. Tanaka asks her to please leave as he doesn't take apprentices, and doesn't want new developments in his life. However Miyano is still overly keen to be Tanaka's friend, so he says just for today, as turning her down would probably take more effort. In class Miyano observes Tanaka's body language and eyes. But when she copies him it goes all wrong and the teacher asks what's wrong with her, to which she becomes frustrated and cries out I've failed. After class, Uda shows Tanaka his half-price donut coupon which is valid for three people. As Miyano's close by listening, Uda asks her if she wants to go with them after school. She tries her best not to show her excitement but it doesn't go too well, and Uda then carries Tanaka to the cafeteria as his stomach is loudly rumbling. He knows he's too lazy to walk himself. After lunch Tanaka gets a green tea from the vending machine. Miyano pops out from around the corner and Uda asks if she'd like to buy something, as he can press the button for her if she can't reach. She accepts and says I'll have a green tea, even though strawberry milk is her favorite. Uda goes for a strawberry milk which gobsmacks Miyano who was trying to be all grown up. As she starts crying, Uda gives his strawberry milk to Tanaka who drinks it to show Miyano he likes it too. Still upset with herself Miyano runs off to the library where she finds a book called The Secret to Listlessness. She studies hard and comes back later to Tanaka with a research report on listlessness. Tanaka nonchalantly says I don't get it, sending Miyano into a state of despair. Uda tells Tanaka not to brush her off so harshly, but he goes on and explains to Miyano that being listless may not be for her, and thinks her hard-working nature is why it isn't working out. However this is what he thinks is so great about her, so there's no need to go out of her way to be like him. Miyano then reveals there's someone she likes and wants to be the perfect girl for them. Tanaka tells her that if this person accepts you for who you are, then it doesn't matter if you're perfect or not and that they probably prefer the way she is now. Miyano becomes happy again after hearing his kind words and takes his advice, then they all go for donuts as planned. The next day, Uda finds Tanaka as he wants to show him something. It turns out Miyano has mastered the art of listlessness, confusing them both as yesterday she seemed to take their advice. Uda thinks maybe she was rejected by the person she likes, so Tanaka says in any case maybe it's better to leave her be. Later, Tanaka and Uda spy on Miyano as Uda planted a strawberry milk to see if she would drink it. However she walks off without taking a single sip and the two determine that she's no longer the Miyano they once knew. A little while later, Uda says if Miyano changed because she wanted to, we can't do anything. It's kind of sad but we should just be happy for her. While following Miyano, Tanaka stops her from walking into fresh paint, and all of a sudden she has a eureka moment. Miyano explains that so many mascots are beginning to appear on TV that she thought they were androids and no one's actually in them. Thus in her wild imagination the android mascots would become conscious and start revolting against humanity. She became so scared that she couldn't sleep at night and thought she was the only one who could save the earth. However after thinking for some time, she knows it's probably someone short like her in the suit. Uda is dumbfounded how her whole personality changed because of this ridiculous fantasy, but nevertheless they're glad she's back to her usual self. The following morning, Tanaka finds a note on his shoe locker which reads Letter of Challenge, and as it turns out it's from a girl called Echizen, who wants to fight him. She is shocked after realizing that Uda is with him as they used to be in the same gang. Uda reveals that Echizen is his next door neighbor and they've known each other since kindergarten. Tanaka asks Echizen why she wants to fight him, to which she replies, I need to find out what kind of person you are. Tanaka says it won't be much of a fight as he's confident he'd lose, and Uda notes that listlessness even diminishes the opponent's will to fight. Since Tanaka won't fight Echizen she suggests a board game to which he accepts. Echizen wins but still feels like she lost for some reason. A little while later she scolds Tanaka as she thought he was someone remarkable pretending to be listless, and that she can't believe her best friend wants to be like him. Tanaka is confused as ever, but then Miyano appears and it all makes sense as he realizes the two are actually friends. Miyano asks what they were doing up here and Echizen informs her that she was just having a match with Tanaka, but he was so weak it wasn't even a challenge. Miyano jumps to his defense telling her that he is actually amazing and she doesn't realize Tanaka's true power, causing Echizen to demand a rematch. Later in class, Tanaka finds another letter challenge on his desk. Uda informs him that Echizen isn't the type to give up until she sees things through. A few moments later we see Miyano very upset with Echizen as she runs away from her. Tanaka then appears and Echizen grabs him. She explains a few days ago Miyano gave her a homemade cookie, but it was so cute she couldn't eat it and before she knew it mold started to grow on it. Miyano found out and got so angry she wouldn't listen to her reason. Tanaka asks why she didn't just take a picture but Echizen reveals she doesn't have a phone. Meanwhile, Uda finds a troubled Miyano in a classroom and explains why she's so mad. 
Gouda agrees that she has the right to be angry as a homemade cookie is never to be wasted. Echizen hides behind Tanaka to try and make amends with Miyano but she's still giving her the cold shoulder. Frustrated, Echizen asks Tanaka why Miyano wanted to be his apprentice, and he tells her that it's because she likes someone which stumps her. She's hurt Miyano wouldn't tell her such a thing seeing as they're friends. Meanwhile Miyano is hiding around the corner eavesdropping. She comes out and says she's seriously angry as she did her best to make the cookie so Echizen would like it, because she loves her. Echizen realizes she was wrong and from now on she'll eat everything Miyano gives her. Tanaka then informs Uta that all this time Echizen was the person she liked. The following day, Miyano surprises everyone with some more homemade treats, but this time she didn't make them cute as Echizen can't eat cute things. Echizen has no problem devouring it, but Uta says in his head this is kinda hard to eat. Since Echizen and Miyano made up, Tanaka assumes this means she doesn't need to be his apprentice anymore, but to his surprise she still wants him to teach her the secrets of listlessness. A few moments later, Shireishi trips over and Uta helps her up. Tanaka asks who she is, and Uta says you really have no interest in your classmates. He goes on to explain that she's their class representative, she gets top grades and is very courteous. Also she's rumored to have very devoted bodyguards. Tanaka and Uta help Shireishi collect her papers and take them to the copy room. After Shireishi prints some test papers, Tanaka accidentally presses the button printing another, and after feeling its warmth he figures warm papers would be amazing as a pillow. After eating a delicious snack from the kind and bubbly Shireishi Tanaka gets tired so Uta takes him home, and Shireishi thanks them for helping her today. After they leave we see a completely different side of her, she freezes and then celebrates as she's alone at last. She takes her contacts out that no one knew she had, adjusts her skirt along with her hair, and puts her glasses on. We then find out in middle school she never fit in because she was awkward, too serious and unfashionable. So just before high school came around she promised herself to change. Her high school debut was a success as she got everyone's attention, but in truth the contacts hurt her eyes and she felt uncomfortable in a short skirt. She swore she'd have a glamorous student life in high school but she's not sure how much longer she can keep up this facade. A few moments later, Uta walks back in with Tanaka and sees Shireishi in her true self. He stands there stumped for a moment, and then casually collects his bag and leaves like he didn't see anything. On the other hand Shireishi is freaking out. The next day she's afraid to go into class in case everyone found out about yesterday, but it looks like nobody knows apart from Uda, who comes strolling along with Tanaka. Uda and Tanaka head into class where Shimura asks how it went with Shireishi yesterday. Meanwhile she's just outside eavesdropping as she wonders when her true nature will be exposed. However she only hears good things from Uda. In science class Tanaka suggests Uda do something with his long hair to stop it from getting in the chemicals, so he styles it how Shireishi does hers when she's alone. Shireishi thinks they're mocking her. At lunch she spies on them while hanging out with Kato and Shimura. It looks like Uda is about to expose her, but instead he covers for her like the kind gentleman he is. Shireishi is relieved, but later it's evident she knows that it's physically impossible to maintain this facade. After walking past Kato and Shimura in the hallway, she becomes ecstatic as she can finally be her comfortable self in school without anyone noticing her. However she celebrates a little too early as she didn't fool Tanaka who notices it's her. She stops dead in her tracks after Tanaka calls her name, and then explains to them that the popular Shireishi you see in class every day is the ideal version of her, which she worked very hard to create. However she thinks the real her is plain, dull, and has no friends. Even though it's exhausting she wanted to shine. Tanaka tells her that she is truly admirable and her real self is ten times more attractive than him in every way. Uda says hiding all your efforts from others isn't something everyone can do, and to have more confidence in herself. After their talk Shireishi asks if they could still keep it a secret to which they have no problem with. The next day Shireishi comes to school wearing her glasses, surprising her classmates. Uda asks how Tanaka spotted her when she looked so different, and he says a girl can cover up her looks, but she can't hide her chest size. Uda says you'd better not ever tell her that. Comment for part 2, and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Until next time, take care.